Humans make incredible discoveries every year, so today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at some recent discoveries. Radiation 16 times above normal after forest fire was created near Chernobyl. Chernobyl was the name of the Russian nuclear power plant located in the city of Pripyat in the north of the Ukrainian SSR, formerly the Soviet Union. It is the site of one of the world's most devastating nuclear power plant accidents in the history of mankind. Ever since the Chernobyl accident in 1986, the area has witnessed meltdown and consequently fallout of radioactive substances into the environment. It has left the area desolate and relatively quiet. The surroundings for many years were declared unsafe. The disaster took out as many as 100 people, with over 40,000 people being evacuated from the area. The impact of the Chernobyl disaster led to the immediate increase in radiation, hence the need to evacuate everyone from the area. Until recently, after more than 25 years since the accident happened, and as a result of an unexpected wildfire, reports have emerged about the area seeing above the normal levels and just below the maximum permissible amount of radiation. According to Yegor Fursov, the head of Ukraine's ecological inspection, the radiation is above normal in the center of the fire. Yegor posted the video of the reading of the Geiger Muller counter on his Facebook page showing the increasing level of radiation. According to the emergency services, the maximum allowable amount of natural background radiation is 0.5. Unfortunately, Yegor's Geiger counter read more than four times that level. The fire could not be put out immediately because the radiation level was 16 times above the normal level that was discovered, and so nothing could be done to put out the fire. But with the help of experts, they were able to overcome the radiation spike limitation. It is worthy of note that despite the radiation peak, which was alarming especially since it was at the center of the fire outbreaks, it was surprising to experts that these radiation levels did not affect Kiev, which is the capital of Ukraine, and the suburbs around the area. As a result, this did not lead to a crisis, as there was no casualty. The investigation is ongoing to understand more details about the increased radiation level and why it did not spread. Huge feral hogs invading Canada, building pigloos as they go. Feral swine are considered offsprings of the union of the wild boars and domestic pigs. They are now seen rapidly spreading in Canada and into different places that people thought they would never survive. This could be traced back to the late 1980s and the early part of the 1990s, when some Canadian farmers began to import wild boars from European nations because they wanted to rear them for meat production. But as time went on, and as a result of the nature of these wild boars, somehow a sizable part of these wild boars escaped. They escaped by digging their way out of the enclosure, while some were set free intentionally after the boar market frenzy decreased. Initially, it did not look like a big deal, as many thought they might not be able to survive or adapt to live in Canada, especially during the long, cold winter seasons. But these boars proved people wrong by not just surviving, but reproducing at incredible speeds. What seemed like no big deal suddenly turned into a big deal, and over the years they have proliferated causing great havoc around areas in Canada. This has been considered by many as a huge mistake, and that many locals are now paying the price. Not only are these creatures a nuisance to the environment, but the offspring of these boars have now bred with local Canadian pigs. This hybrid species has a mixture of traits of local pigs and these European wild boars, and this has made this species better adapted the Canadian environment, but officials and locals have noticed a big increase in environmental destruction. They have been observed destroying crops, wildlife and grasslands. Wildlife researchers said that they have inherited a mixture of wild and domestic traits, giving them tolerance for extreme cold. Not only are they a hazard to the environment, but they have now been observed building shelters for themselves, showing researchers that if left alone, they won't be going away anytime soon. They have been given the nickname Super Pigs. New data has shown us that these Super Pigs could take over Canada and that every year their territory is increasing in size. 
A mysterious Ice Age structure made from the bones of 60 woolly mammoths has been unearthed in Russia. Another recent announcement involves an interesting Ice Age structure, which is estimated to be over 25,000 years old. This ancient structure was made from the bones of 60 woolly mammoths. Scientists in Russia are already working on the bottom part of the structure, which is around 40 feet wide. It has had a circular arrangement of bones at the Paleolithic site, located some 300 miles south of Moscow. It has walls, fire pits and areas for preparing meat. Alexander Pryor, an archaeologist at the University of Exeter who co-authored the report, told the New York Times the following. The sheer number of bones that our Paleolithic ancestors had sourced from somewhere and brought to this particular location to build this monument is quite staggering. Scientists and researchers have been able to locate more than 70 of these mammoth structures all across Europe. This count includes two mammoth structures that were uncovered between the 1950s and 1960s. Data has shown us that some of these structures are over 22,000 years old and that studying them is helping us to better understand that period in time. Along with how ancient humans interacted with these ancient creatures, one idea that's been supported by different researchers is that these were created to help shield ancient man from the elements. Scientists have also shown interest in bringing back prehistoric creatures. It was announced a few years back that a team of researchers from Russia and South Korea were working on a project to study and extract cells from frozen ice-aged creatures. Some of the animals they are looking at bringing back include the cave lion, woolly mammoth, woolly rhino, and species of horses. At the moment, they've said they can't bring back dinosaurs, but said that some of these ice age creatures still have intact tissues and cells, which makes the process much easier. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community by working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.